Hey guys, Matthew Marr with MarInvest.com. I just wanted to tell you that sometimes it's okay to get away. Sometimes it's okay to go and find a quiet place and let your mind rest. You know, we're so, um, we're just so busy with tweets and Instagram and Facebook and all the social media, LinkedIn, Yahoo, AOL, Google. I mean, we have so many different apps and, you know, things that keep us just completely uh, scrambled all day. And so today I took a drive and uh, I've actually been uh, listening to a few audiobooks. I just finished one um, audiobook on the way up here. Uh, by Scott Adams about uh, how to fail at almost everything and succeed. And then I am just now started a book by Ben Carson uh, about the Constitution. I'm sitting here at uh, Lake Martin, uh, which has a beautiful uh, outside church um, called the Church of the Pines. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's pretty cool today. The sun's going down. Uh, you know, the the lake is here in front of me. It's a really, really gorgeous place. Let me show you. It's a really beautiful place. You can see there's uh, pews and it's a really tall A-frame structure here uh, right off the lake. Nice little altar up here up front with a podium. Just a beautiful spot. I just want to encourage you guys to uh, take quiet time occasionally. Uh, you know, I'm a I'm a sales guy, so you know a lot of my videos are real high energy and. Um, you know, regularly talking about all the things you can do to be successful and you want to, you know, you want to automate, you want to make lists, you want to do all this stuff. Sometimes what you need to do is just be still and just be quiet. Sometimes you need to just go take a drive or go take a walk. There's something beautiful about uh, being in a park, going on a trail walk. If you're near the beach, enjoy the beautiful beach. If you're in the mountains, enjoy the mountains and the snow. God has really created uh, such an amazing place for us to be in. And sometimes we get our needs and our wants messed up and we want so much stuff we want new cars and new houses and it, it really passes the point of what we need you know we might start with the need that we want to be more comfortable or we want our children to be more comfortable we want good things for our families but at some point um, you're running, 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 trying to make this money. And for what? Is it so that you can rest? Is it so that you can be happy and have peace? Let me, you know, I'm only 37, but um, I've been really blessed to have some really great people in my life, really great mentors, and I hope to share those things when I talk to people. Uh, one is that happiness is a choice and you have to choose to be happy no matter what your situation is. If you wait until you get that job or you get that house or you wait till you get that graduation or that promotion or whatever it is, you're always not going to be happy because you're always looking for tomorrow and you're not participating in right now which is, um, you know, you can miss right now. So happiness is a choice. 
Another video I talked about content, contentment. If you can learn to be content in all situations, doesn't matter what your situation is, doesn't matter where you come from, what what uh, economic status you have, the color of your skin. If you can be happy with you. I, I had a friend the other day uh, asked me, um, she said, Matthew, what, uh, what kind of clothes do you wear to impress girls? <laughs> I said, I don't. This is, what, this is me. Uh, I am very comfortable with being me. And I hope, my prayer is that you are comfortable with being you. You know, I know, uh, I know. I talk about the Bible a lot when I am quoting things, and uh, I just want to let me throw out some Jesus here for you. If you go and you study just Jesus, the man, um, you know, he wasn't imp- he wasn't impressed, and he didn't do things to impress people. In fact, a lot of times uh, there would be people following him, and they'd say, "Hey, do a miracle, do a trick," and he'd say, "Come on, guys, let's let's go on past here because these people are just here." You know, they just want a trick. They're not here for the Messiah. They just want, you know, to be entertained. And you can tell the stories that are very different from the people that truly wanted to be near him compared to the people that just had some ulterior motive, which he could always sniff out, which I thought was pretty cool. So, long story short, uh, I'm going to get off this video now, and I'm going to spend a few more minutes enjoying this absolutely beautiful winter's day it is getting colder and colder as the sun goes down the wind is blowing through the pine trees um it's it's getting pretty chilly but it's it's really nice it's really nice and i pray that if you don't have a a place you know maybe you're in a position where you, you don't have time you can't go to the beach you can't go to the mountains you can't go to the lake You know what? you got to learn to find a place. Go up on top of your roof. Go up on top of a parking deck and just park your car and look at the stars. Go in your closet and pray. Find a place that can be a quiet place for you. Some place without distraction and noise. A place that you can really refine the things that are supposed to be important in your life. And when you go back and you look at your list of, and your goals and things you're trying to accomplish, make sure that they matter. There's nothing wrong with wanting nice things. I want nice things. I enjoy nice things. I enjoy eating good. I enjoy the comforts of life. However, you need to learn to find peace. And if you can't find peace... There's no business, there's no amount of money, there's no place you're going to travel, there's no job you're going to have, there's no spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, toy, whatever, that is going to uh, replace having peace in your life. So I encourage you to find a quiet place today. I promise you, if you will listen to the things I'm telling you, you will be successful. Hope you guys have a blessed day.